I'm very often asked about um, what uh, ideas I had uh, in doing the paintings and um, uh, I, with very few exceptions I nearly always have some kind of uh, concept that uh, I have in mind in doing the pieces. Usually those concepts deal with uh, ideas about um, humanity and uh, time and, and uh, um, internal struggles of one kind or another. In this particular painting I, uh, I wanted to take uh, different art styles, different paintings inside the painting, in some ways to denote different time periods. Um, m most of the pieces in here are done in a particular style. This is a, um, a painting like uh, Monet. Uh, some years ago we were at uh, Givernet in uh, France where Monet's home was and photographed a lot of the lily ponds and so forth that he painted. So in this particular case it's not an actual painting of Monet's but it painted in the style of Monet's. Then this is an actual painting, uh, a reproduction of an actual painting by um, Van Gogh. Um, this is a, uh, a, a, a Japanese a copy of a Japanese print but one that I just more or less made up this is intended to have a Rembrandt-esque kind of style to it. And this is uh, um, done from uh, a uh, still life by the French painter Sicily. And then this area is intended to have sort of a combination of abstract expressionist and pop art kind of feeling to it. Very often uh, I have two sets of ideas. One set is humanistic in approach. In other words, ideas about life or time or space or human existence. And the other is are ideas that are purely visual in nature. And then the background here is intended to have kind of a uh, abstract expressionist uh, feeling also. And I wanted to put all these pieces together in order to describe a whole. And I call the painting, The Art Becomes You. Um, the whole idea, I think, of, uh, of an inspiration, as people like to call it, is to, um, to get the, um, the process started. The, what excites me and what ideas that I have and the, uh, the concepts that I may have about how to uh, translate um, uh, the immediacy of uh, personal existence into uh, uh, a, a two-dimensional form on a canvas um, may not really matter that much to anyone else. It's the it's the, the process that gets the process started. The idea that, that uh, the spark that gets the 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 whole creative uh, process moving. And I think that's what the the real value of uh, of having ideas that one um, can be excited about. And I had envisioned doing it pretty much the way it is now, where it has uh, just a sketch basically for the head and then just the eyes painted in. And the first time that I did that, it didn't look right. It looked totally, totally wrong. It just, uh, it, um, it just didn't work. So I painted it out and I painted uh, a whole, another head in it completely. And I was, not real happy with it, but I just couldn't seem to resolve it, and I decided to just, it looked okay, and I was just going to leave it. And the more I looked at it, the more I looked at it, I just didn't like it, and the rest of the painting was turning out so well that it, that it seemed a shame not to have the whole thing turn out the way I wanted it. So I painted it out again, and I painted another head in it, and I didn't like it. And I painted it out again, and I drew this, drew the sketch, and I had, and of the, just a sketch of the head, which is what I had in mind to start with. And I liked it, but it did without any other features. It seemed totally unresolved. And so then I put the, the eyes back in, just like I had envisioned to begin with. And by the time I had this layer of painting on painting on painting, it got richer and richer and richer until it actually looked like I wanted it to do to begin with. This painting is actually on wood, and it's uh, part of its painting and part of its drawing. This part of the car is all drawn in, and this background 
here is all drawn with a colored pencil. This part is, uh, is uh, completely painted in. This part is intended to be like a little old, like a little photograph that's superimposed on a disappearing or sort of faded uh, uh, drawing um, beneath it. And then this is intended to be another ver variation on this very same landscape that changes from a cartoon-like landscape to like an impressionist sort of landscape to a more abstract landscape, and then finally to this realistic sort of painting. All these different parts making up the the whole of uh, of the of the piece, along with this idea of uh, doing paintings inside of a painting. In uh, this particular piece, uh, I also had this idea of uh, a combination of old master drawings and comics that uh, I wanted to have have a a sort of whimsical uh, kind of feeling of cascading figures coming down through the back of the painting of which the uh, main figure sort of blends, or tends to blend into. Um, and then uh, along with that, then these other pieces that are um, uh, like uh, parts of a room or parts of a window or parts of a, of ex uh, could be seen as exterior um, or um, paintings uh, in and of themselves that relate to the to the whole of uh, this particular piece. The one thing I really don't like to do is to paint the same kind of thing, the same, literally the same thing over and over and over. Uh, other than having, uh, being a figurative painter and and all the paintings that I do are uh, humanist in nature and they all have figures, um, I'm not remotely interested in doing just landscapes or just abstracts or just still lifes. Uh, other than that, I'd like to see them uh, change in some way uh, or another uh, to express sometimes pretty similar ideas but in a different visual way uh, uh, as, uh, as time goes on I do new and, new and hopefully different work.